Hey, Mr. Mac here, along with Quinn, Baby Q. We're sitting at the piano. Can you show them how you can play the piano? Show them how you can play the piano. Can you play a couple keys? Okay. She'd rather play with her feet. Oops. She likes to dance when she did. <laughs> she got her a little kick and play piano. So we're talking about your first project, which is a music video. And it can be something as simple and silly as in some of my flip lessons where I pretend to be, play the piano and sing Elton John. So your first step is picking your song for your music video. And your first script for your music video is very easy because it'll simply be the lyrics to the song. Now remember, it must be G-rated. So if there's a song that has bad language, you need to find the clean version. And then if there are some bad words in that song, we can still cut those out. So try and pick a song that doesn't have a lot of bad words. A great example of something funny and silly that's been turned into a new commercial is Salt and Peppa's Push It Real Good. Salt and Peppa, you tell people to push it. Push it real good. It's what you do. If you want to save 15% or more on car insurance, you switch to Geico. It's what you do. Okay, so you can see they took the lyrics, push it real good, and adapted it for the commercial and made it funny. It's been a big hit. So when you're thinking about your music video, it simply has to be two minutes long. You do not have to do the entire song, only two minutes of the song. And so you could pick different sections, different choruses, different lyrics from the song that you would want to do. And the old adage, kiss it, keep it simple. So if you want to be able to do this with friends in your neighborhood or people at school. So after you've picked your song, printed out the lyrics or emailed the lyrics, then what you'll simply do is plan, okay, what shot do I want to go with this line of the song? If there's music at the beginning of the song without lyrics, are we gonna see people walking through the park or at a playground? Or uh, we've had students who like to skate or play basketball and sh simply shot video of their friends or them skating and playing basketball and set it to music. The whole point of the first project, the music video, is just becoming familiar with the editing process and how a camera works to shoot video. I want you to skip over after this lesson to the composition and sequencing flip lesson from a mile high. I'm on top of Sugar Mountain for that because in your videos, you want to shoot a variety of shots called sequencing. Wide, which would be seeing the whole living room here, medium, which is kind of this perspective here, and then close up. we get real close up. Get real close up. Show my close up, Quinny. There we go. Okay, so pick your shot, look at the lyrics, keep it simple, plan. Who's gonna be in your video? Your cast, your talent, on camera. Where, what's the setting? What's gonna be easiest for you to shoot? At school or at home? You can be the star of your video, or you don't have to be in your video at all. If you want to use green screen, you could play four, five, six, seven different characters on camera at the same time. The whole point is to have fun with it and be thinking of different shots, different angles, point of view, where the camera is, like a high angle looking down at a bunch of people dancing, or a low angle shot. So you want a variety of shots from a variety of angles and make it fun. It should be a good project.